Hi, Matt Andrews here uh, at IEM Katowice, the Intel Extreme Masters Season 11 Finals, uh, one of the biggest esports events in the world, and uh, I'm out here hosting some of the uh, so second stage activities, and as usual, thought I'd try and give you a little bit of an insight into what goes on a little bit behind the scenes and the experience of the event, uh, whether you're here as uh, you know somebody attending the event and wanting to watch what's going on, or if you're, uh, if you're interested in working in esports and you want to see a little bit behind the scenes. Can't show you a lot of like the really sexy stuff. Uh, for example, I'm here in a very boring corridor. So this isn't very exciting, but that would be, wouldn't it? So let's go see some of that. So just, uh, you know, behind the scenes, uh, kind of it's down there, that's our talent room. Uh, the whitest of white rooms. Uh, like a padded cell, all the padding removed, to be honest. That's our green room, that's where we can go and chill out. And we can walk along here. Uh, at IEM Katowice here in Poland, it's in two pieces. You have the Spodek Arena, which is the just amazing, amazing venue used for concerts and sports and all sorts of things. We will get there. Before we get there though, we're going to go here. If you were working on Heroes of the Storm, don't let me hold you up. Go on. Talent moving in and out. If you're working on Heroes of the Storm on the Western Clash, which is going on, then you would be walking this way that we're doing. You would come out this little bit here. This is not all of production in any way. And then we sneak out through the curtain to this. So this is the Western Clash, this is the first major event for Heroes of the Storm. Uh, the HTC 2017 is all basically kicking off with this. False end matches the Dahaka. Then the Shrine's up, Kerrigan is going to be able to win on that. Loving the hexagons, I love projection and screens and all that sort of thing. Like I've said uh, on videos before, give me data and give me graphics and I will use them for the audience. I'm loving these hexagonal champions and the heroes. Heroes. They needed to be even up until ten. Sex and the fact that this is an entire level. I, I mean, cranes, jib cams. I can't find a situation where a teammate can come back. I think that Dick will close out this game very quickly now. Loads of cameras and the analyst desk is here. I like this. I like it when analysts and casters are up front. Not just because obviously, you know, I'm a presenter. Please look at me. But it's exactly the opposite. But um, like we, it's part of the show, and I think when you're doing it at a live event like this, don't bury them all backstage where they can't be seen. Uh, for this, quite common. The analysts are visible, but the casters aren't. The casters are hidden away. I don't like that. Casters work really bloody hard. I'm a stage host. I'm a desk host. I get to be up front. The analysts can join me on something like this. Um, casters, you should be able to see the casters as well. So that's my opinion. So that's stage. Here is the heroes analyst desk. You can't even defend the Punisher, right? It's only difficult to defend it. Incredible heroes talent next to it. This is a free port. Now you're looking at do we have 10 by the time it gets to our keep? So you can see the amount of cameras they've got. Sanctification dive off the wall with Kerrigan. Dignitas has a very high chance of They have four people on this analyst desk. So you'll have one tight shot on the host, then you might have a wide, you will have a wide shot on everybody. Then you might have one or two cameras, depending on whether you want to pick up one or two or three analysts separate to the host when they're talking. And then we have uh, announcer buttons and like talkback buttons. That's what these little consoles are. There, you can see. That's what's going on there. If we try to defend here, we will die. Yeah, Snitch not being able to zone uh, Yoda there in the mid lane and with the Haka. So we will see teammate get 10 before, you know, we see the good banners. This is the IM Expo Hall. So the hero stage is at one end of it. It's full of uh, hardware to do with esports. It's not like a broad gaming expo where you get it somewhere like Gamescom, where um, where they're talking about you know new releases. There's no games being demoed here. Uh, no satellite. Oculus are here, obviously showing off Oculus Rift, but they are uh, there are a few Oculus games being demoed on it as well. Uh, this is all hardware for esports. So it made this big ESL event about the Intel Extreme Masters and this huge esports tournament. So of course all like the major gaming hardware supplies. Are here. You can come out of the expo hall, see it goes all the way back down there. 
Loads and loads of it here. But if you leave the expo hall, you walk out. It's a big concourse that there is. We keep on walking down here. You can walk, you can track alongside the expo hall. Cosplayers, uh, it was a big cosplay tournament yesterday. Um, you get this nice stuff that Blizzard have done over here. The heroes. Separately, at I the major tournaments at IM are CSGO, League of Legends, and StarCraft 2. And this uh, year, finals of season 11, it's the first time they've split it over two weekends. So, StarCraft 2 was in here when we were doing it yesterday. I think I might be able to show you a little bit of production. The tournament's not in here, it was in its own room um, for the last couple of days. But the semi finals and finals of it are on the Spodek Arena and they're happening right now. We're going to try and make it before it finishes. Uh, oh, there you go, there's a little map. This will be easy. So we started. Uh, oh! We'll come back to that. So that's the auditorium where. Ooh! Hello. There's a Oculus tournament going on. This is an unexpected sneak preview of a possible future eSport. I can't tell you any more about that. I gratulacje. Konrad zwycięża. Agnieszka niestety poległa. I didn't know that was going on in there today. I can't. I'm not sure I can tell you what that is. But yeah, there's going to be esports in VR. Uh, down there. <coughs> that's where the amazing Calaris and uh, terrific analyst for StarCraft, that's where they've been doing the analyst desk. So all of that background. The black bit, not the grey bit, the black bit, that's all screens. That was all animated and moving the whole time. Uh, so that was their analyst desk down there, and I might be able to take you down. Let's have a look. Yeah, come on. I have this. So you have this. So let's have a look. Uh, yeah, so this is where Talent Starcraft are chilling out. I wouldn't do this if they were here, because, to be honest, when casters and hosts and so on are chilling out, we need to be chilling out. Um, so that's the analyst desk. It's all being kind of taken apart now, so there's nowhere near as many cameras as there used to be. That was where Calaris and Co were doing it. This is production, StarCraft 2. Well, have a quick look. If you're interested in this sort of thing, let me know on Twitter. I'm Matt underscore Andrews. I always can try and share some more of this sort of stuff. Uh, hey guys, just hey, quickly hi. videoing some things. He's part of our awesome production crew, been working so hard on StarCraft. So, quickly looking at what we got. Screen. Uh, let's see, uh, vision mixing. Lots of cameras, all of those sort of things up here. Cutting between all of those. Uh, director, probably sit there. What's uh, what we got? Quickly looking at what we got. Graphics. Sound, 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 sound. Uh, Pizza. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Like everything that's involved with sound and graphics and video and all the things that make this up. Because remember, esports, you know, it's a TV production. So all the classic TV production work. That's what's going on here. So this is uh, the sort of thing that, you know, ESL has built into its studios but brings to somewhere like this in order to do uh, a live show. Now that's the casting desk. That's where they are. So quickly show you what a casting desk looks like if you've not had the chance. It's always screens, uh, sometimes keyboards and mice, sometimes controllers, like when I'm doing Forza, that's on Xbox One, of course, so we're operating it all on controllers. Uh, there's, you know, there's nothing there I can really show you. Um, I thought we might go show you a little bit more of tech. So if you ever get involved as a caster and you work on a, an event and the complicated things you might need to deal with on a desk, uh, and this desk is getting taken apart now because this is all finished, as I say, so... Yeah, not a lot to show you there. Right, let's push on. We will go out of this door. 
Oh, map quick, it's going to disappear again, isn't it? So we start it. Uh, oh, gosh. Here. Here, outside of this room. And then we came uh, we came in here, where the heroes of the storm stage is. And then we came up, and we walked all the way along there. Oh, yeah, we walked along there. And I told you the rest of the expo hall, there was loads of... Oh, it's a screen. I didn't even realise it's a screen. I mean, I, I know it's a screen. I mean, I didn't realise it was a touch screen. Oh, come back. We've done this, we've done this, we've done this. I hosted this, I hosted this. We go, yeah, here we go, right. So we started here, that's where our green room was. And then we went up, and then we went all along, and I showed you that the hall keeps going that way. And then we came out, so we walked down here, and we went into the auditorium. Only we didn't go down there. We snuck through a secret pit around here where the staff are, and where the talent sit. And now we're going to go here, and in here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, stick with me. yeah, we're going to one of the most exciting esports venues in the world, Spodek Arena. So Intel Extreme Masters in Katowice is where I think four, if not maybe five now, uh, five seasons of IEM traveling all over the world. Its finals are here in Katowice. Oh yeah, you can buy stuff. Esports shops, all the team gear, nice ESL gear, other things going on too. Truthfully, I have no idea what that is. Sort of a big chill out garden kind of thing. So we go through this tunnel with the pass that we have. Uh, we'll go a bit more quickly. People in VP gear. There's a whole VP stand uh, doing merchandise. Of course, VP never made it to when the audience were here because they went out on Thursday on the CSGO tournament. This is an exciting corridor, isn't it? Do you like it? The whole of this place is clad in this stuff. Uh, the outside and the inside, it's quite a, it's a very futuristic building. Katowice is a strange, kind of mixed Polish city. Um, right, so now, come through there. So now we are on the outside of the Spodek Arena, the big kind of UFO thing you might have seen in pictures of it. Blizzard have got a shop. Uh, VP shop, ESL shop, ESL shop, so on and so on and so on. We could go in there, but you want to go up front, don't you? Come with me. There's a lot of people here. I'm not clear if we're between games, between rounds. We are going. Thank you. Bodeck Arena. Oh yeah, now it's coming. Oh, my Start your esports career now at play.eslgaming.com. This is 11,000 people. Obviously, it's not full right now. StarCraft 2 final. It's not the World Championship final. That's obviously a separate thing in StarCraft 2, but this tournament here at IM Katowice is the biggest StarCraft 2 tournament outside of a World Championship. Uh, you look at major tournaments and how much prize money they give to teams. The winner of StarCraft 2 here wins $100,000 by themselves. We are... Two and a half minutes away. You want to stick around for two and a half minutes for some more final kicks off? I hope so. Stay with me. I know it's been quite a long video, but I'm trying to show you the whole place. Uh, so let's quickly fill you in before this thing kicks off some more. This is the analyst desk here in the uh, in the Spoda. There he is. There's Calaris. I told you we saw the stage desk earlier on. Uh, no, the, the uh, downstairs desk earlier on outside the Starcraft Auditorium. That's here. Casters. Probably can't see them. They are uh, they're buried back there. And they're not on site. Again, oh sorry, not on site, not in site. They're definitely on site. I think you should be able to see them, that's my feeling on that. That's eleven thousand people getting back in here. We're on a game, we're on a break between uh, rounds. Shiny, shiny. Right in the middle, it's just two players, remember, for StarCraft. And when we do the CSGO 
go world championship in a bit. They'll be on the stage, of course. They're doing an interesting thing with sound this year. Notice the lack of booths. You got the desks, but there's no booth in them. And similarly, the players, like right in the middle of the stage. So last year, the StarCraft 2 players had their own booth right on the edges, and the CSGO and the league teams, they were in the booth in the middle. 50 seconds, you can hear the anticipation, can't you? Um, they're doing a clever thing with noise cancelling this year, so obviously you see people wearing multiple headphones, and I know that's a question people ask a lot about esports. They've usually got earbuds in to hear like maybe team talk. Uh, some players have earbuds in because they want to hear music during their games. Then they have like the big noise cancelling headphones over the top, and that's so they can't hear the commentary. I know for a fact, talking to lots of pro players, they they're not meant to hear any outside noises, but they can definitely hear and certainly feel a crowd. So if you're ever at an eSports event, make sure you make some noise, because they will know. What ESL what are doing very cleverly this year is they're doing a whole load of noise cancelling stuff. So they're actually, they don't need a lock in behind glass walls. 10 seconds. They don't need a lock in behind glass walls. They're doing a clever filtering thing, which means they're cancelling out the noise. So they can have them sat completely exposed like that, facing each other. And here we go. StarCraft 2. Have you seen me hosting? Here we go. I love this whole, this is kind of thing. You know I do that sometimes as well. Should be. I do ring announcing in boxing and fight sports as well. Yeah, let's have a fight. Um, so yeah, they do these questions on the players. They show the game. They, they hype them up like that. What I love about StarCraft 2 here at IEM. I don't know if we can get through. They got a hype team in. Look at the flag. Where are they? One shot. These guys in the high beers and hard hats are doing it as a hype team. They're here like pumping a crowd, so they were up getting everybody ready because it's like game four, let's go. Uh, yeah. You know, small matter of that Cameras, 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 cameras. Lights. Huge confetti kind of sparkle drop kind of thing. Goes all the way up to the roof. I was here with Sky Sports last year. We did some stuff right at the top. It's pretty incredible up there. I won't walk you up there. It'll take ages. Um, but maybe I'll go and film a little bit so you can have that as well. What do you think? This is an IAM Expo. Oh, IAM Expo. That's what I've been presenting on stage. This is an IAM Expo. This is a Spodek Arena. This is the Intel Extreme Masters in Canada. So I'm Matt Andrews. If you don't follow me on Twitter, it's Matt underscore Andrews. If you want to follow me on Twitch, it's The Mandrews. I don't stream very often, but I like bringing new games and showing stuff which is in development. Um, if you want anything more like this, then let me know on Twitter. Uh, I host esports all over the world and uh, always try and bring them to people who haven't had a chance to be there. But I also like to give you an, a little bit of a scene uh, behind behind the scenes too. Um, I am very tempted right now to get behind the scenes here. You know what, there's no quick way of doing it from where I am. So I will leave you with this because this video is already 20 minutes long. If you stuck with it to the end, uh, tell me you stuck with it to the end. I'll be very, very pleased to know. Hopefully you like this, I'll send you some more. Oh, you see? 